Hi, my name is Jackson, and I absolutely love to learn about all of the amazing things that are in the world around me. Are you like me? Do you love to see things and figure out how they work? Well, today, I want to show you some amazing things using my Wonder Ink STEM box. In case you didn't know, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. The Wonder Ink STEM box has stuff I can use to do experiments, to make things, and to learn. Now I'm gonna show you that you can't always believe your eyes. Sounds amazing, huh? Let's check out our box. This is just a normal pencil, or is it? What if I told you that I can make the pencil look broken even though it's not broken at all? First, see that our pencil looks just fine. It's nice and perfect. But look at what happens when I put it in the water. It looks like our pencil is broken. See, the pencil is just fine. Let's put it back into the water. Water is very cool. Do you know that it actually bends some of the light so that it looks like our pencil is broken? Water is pretty amazing, isn't it? When light goes through water, the water can do some very interesting things to the light. This experiment reminds me about Jesus because he is the light of the world. And just like the water changed the light and changed the way the pencil looked, the world often changes and twists what God says is important and true. When we decide what to believe, it's important to listen to God because he is the king of the entire universe. That's why when Jesus came to earth, he taught his followers so much about God's kingdom. God's kingdom means that God is in charge and he is transforming the broken parts of the world into something new. Jesus gave a famous sermon all about God's kingdom and it's found in the gospel of Matthew. Jesus sat on a hilltop while he spoke. So we call this the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started with eight short statements that call certain people blessed. Blessed sounds very important, but the same word can mean happy. But Jesus' words aren't instructions for how to make yourself happy. Instead, Jesus says that God is going to give certain people reason to be happy. But the people who Jesus says will feel happy are surprising. The world, which is anyone who isn't following Jesus, tells us that the happiest people are the ones who have the most money, the coolest toys, the most friends, and are the strongest on their own. But Jesus' way is different. To be blessed in God, we don't need the most money, the most friends, or the most strength. We will be blessed by being in his kingdom. Jesus said this, blessed are the spiritually needy, blessed are those who are sad, blessed are those who don't put themselves first. Doesn't that sound strange? Jesus told us the happiest people are the ones who realize they are needy, needy for God. The happiest people aren't the ones who have all of the coolest stuff. They're the ones whose treasure is God. The happiest people are the ones who share God's mercy, peace, and love with others. The happiest people follow Jesus' way. Here's something else I'll trick our eyes. All I need is my cup of water and a piece of paper. Looking at these arrows, the blue arrow looks like it's facing left, and the green arrow looks like it's facing right. But what would you say if I told you that what you see is actually completely backwards from the truth? Let me prove it to you by taking this cup of water out of the way. Whenever light goes through water, water can do some very interesting things to the light. In this case, it made our arrows reflect backwards. This is why it's so important to trust what God says. He is never tricked, and he is never wrong about anything. When Jesus taught his followers about God's way, he taught the truth. He told us what is actually right. This is why everyone needs to know Jesus' way. I like this arrow experiment because it shows us how easy it is to see things backwards from the truth. The world tells us to love ourselves so we can have whatever we want right now. But God asks us to love him and others so that we can be blessed and happy forever in his kingdom. Because we trust God and his power, we can show mercy, make peace, and even suffer for doing what's right. What's so amazing about Jesus is that he didn't just tell us these things, he showed us. Jesus knew that he would eventually suffer and die without having done anything wrong. That doesn't seem very happy. Yet he knew and we know that God's kingdom is near and that God is really king. No matter how the world may seem around us, we can trust God is in control. Jesus showed us that his way is different. When we follow him, we can give up our power because we know that God is in control. We can show mercy and forgive others. 
Jesus' way helps everyone find love, God's love. And one day, the whole world will be filled with God's love because Jesus will come back and set up God's kingdom on the entire planet. Jesus is king, and one day he will make everything good, fair, and right. Everyone who follows Jesus' way will be blessed forever. So don't be tricked by your eyes or ears when the world tells you to live for yourself. God's kingdom is near, and the least likely people are blessed because Jesus' way is different.